Hey lovely people, welcome back. I am at the salon currently with <laughs> my very <laughs> thick and stubborn fussy hair. So I just I went to the salon video. because I needed something very urgent to be done to my hair. You know that kind of weave you need to do, like just make it like into four or five or something. That was what I went to do. My hair had been packed like this for almost a week and there was something in the middle that this lady was trying to loosen i didn't even know how long she was loosening it we we're just like having fun and like just like okay a little bit of banter here and there i didn't even know that there was something in the middle of my hair i can't even remember how i did this there it was when she was about to detangle it she just discovered that i had one tiny weave that was still in the middle and it was so tiny like i don't know how i messed it out so we finished loosening it and what they usually do at the salon is that they first detangle your hair with some oils and some of their product before you go into washing your hair they don't just like go to wash your hair like that so that's why i really really like this salon like it made me lazy with my natural hair like i stopped washing my natural hair myself so this was after loosening it we are not even doing the hair at this point i actually still deep conditioned my hair but don't worry you're not going anywhere because i'm going to be taking you through the process of how i did this so just enjoy this with me this was one of those days at the salon and she scrubbed oh my goodness she scrubbed this thing works like i could literally feel in the dirt like getting out of my hair i could feel it a lot like that um hair thing that they use in like scrubbing your hair i actually have it at home as well but i don't use it because they use it well for me anytime i come to the salon and it helps you to get rid of all that dirt and i like the way they partition my hair into sections they wash it section by section they take really good care of your hair i've been using the salon for quite a while now for about five years and they've been consistent they train all their staff to do your hair to treat your hair with tender loving care so that's just it basically after washing my hair i went on to detangle it as well see my edges oh my goodness this postpartum edge whatever is really disturbing me with my last baby it grew with my recent baby again i've had to like deal with postpartum um, hair loss or let me say my edges have gone i have to even cut my hair again but well we move i'll take care of it so hopefully when i grow it because i'm on it i'll show you guys the process so i'm trying to deep condition my hair at this point because i just felt that my hair lacks some luster i've not taken care of it in a long time i've been really really stressed and i you can do this myself at some point i have been stressed and because they do it well for me in the salon i was like why not let's just do this but this is my product actually but if i come to the salon as well they can choose to use their product so she's just like doing it in different sections partitioning it section by section like i say that is what i really like about this place because i can vouch for them that they will treat your hair well and they will treat it very nicely as well even better than the owner of the head or the owner of the hair so that's it for deep conditioning we finished all the parts we finished all the sections the left the right one thing i don't like i don't know you guys tell me i don't like when i wash my hair and there's no control about water like dripping down my body i really cannot stand it i was so glad when she finished off it looked like relaxed hair at this point but well it's deep conditioning i'm not relaxing my hair i don't think so ever again i tried it last year i text last and that's what led me to this point i had to cut my my hair i was like after growing my natural hair for so long who sent me to go and Texlas? my goodness Texlas is like when you are using texturizer on your hair and that thing for me is just like relaxing your hair just relax your hair if you want to relax your hair there's nothing like texturizer that's my personal belief so we're going to be steaming this hair right now we're just going to be wrapping it in some cling film instead of like a shower cap i think i prefer the cling film method it helps to like secure everything your hair with the product everything and it seals it all up i do this at home myself i do this as well if i want to steam my hair or if i want to deep condition my hair and for me it locks in everything if you can do this for about 15 minutes and you lock in everything it will help in that little time if you can do this like 
25 minutes it's absolutely fine but because i was going under this steaming what's it called i can't stand it it's really it's always too hot for me sometimes i'll start coming out i'll be like is it up to time yet and they'll be like just manage for like 15 minutes if you can stay for up to 30 minutes then it's all good but the max most times i can stay for is 30 minutes so we washed off all the deep conditioning treatment they partition my hair again into sections and this is me just doing like four or five cornrows because i was like i just needed a little of that like you know just something that you just want to like use to get by you don't want something too serious and i decided to do matting or what they call dd in yoruba because this will help to grow my edges like this is why i like it is it makes my hair very full but it helps with your edges as well so if you're trying to do protective styling and you don't know what to do and you're probably your edges are falling out this will really help in addition to the products you're also using as well so i just made sure that i filmed the particular one of what she was doing just in case you also want to learn how to do matting so like you have to cut then you start like matting it just the way she's doing it. this is not like weaving you have to you really have to you can't have a shortcut to this you have to cut it into two like this then you start going ahead like start matting it back and forth like that so guys that is how i did my hair at the salon i think i eventually had like about i said i wanted four but my hair was too thick so you can see this is typical 4c natural hair like very very 4c like it's not it doesn't have like spring like maybe it's even semi like relaxed at all my hair is 4c in all its glory and when it's like too thick when like i don't if i don't have enough moisture or water it gets really really painful my hair is really thick and well, this is the way i manage it and this is even with me having short hair because i cut my hair recently after i had my daughter but it's growing at this point and i can't wait for my ages to grow as well so we finished matting the hair like i said i think i wanted like four to five but my hair could not do it it would have been too big eventually had about eight let me count it one two three four five six seven yes we had about eight and she's just trying to like clean up my edges just to make it nice and clean and to make it a lot more presentable and that is what we have guys my matted dd my african hair i love the style so so much when it is tinier it's usually more beautiful i'll probably do like a smaller version for you when i do like my dd in smaller parts like probably 10 15 that would look a lot nicer for natural hair especially so that's what we have i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned something so thank you for coming along with me to the salon when next are you going to the salon i hope you enjoyed it what kind of hair do you have let me know in the comment section i love to see you come back again and again and again i have so many juicy things coming for you i'll see you in my next video bye